Hi everybody, um, welcome to my life with plants. My name is Newman. Today we're going to talk about how to look after your cacti and succulents during the summer heat. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking about how to look after your cacti and succulents during the summertime. Now today it's about 35 degrees, which is 95 Fahrenheit. Um, but once you get over 105, 110 Fahrenheit, which is about 40 degrees, then you've got to take desperate measures. And today I'm going to provide some tips for you that have been working for me. And by the way, I live in Japan, and our summers are tropical. So we have high humidity. It can be 75 to 80 percent. Um, during June we have a monsoon where it's very very humid and overcast and a lot of rainfall then as we get to the end of July or mid-July into August we get into the dry season where temperatures can rise up to 40 degrees which is about 105 Fahrenheit anyway we're gonna start off with these uh, few tips and I'm gonna provide them for you Woo. So hot today, I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> uh, okay, tip number one, shelving. As you can see here, I'm about five foot seven, five foot seven. I'm not that tall, really. <laughs> but this comes up to my chest. Now, this is your first tip, shelving. This is stainless steel shelving, or they call the baker's racks. And um, what this is doing is, the further away from the ground you are, the cooler it is. So if you go down much lower towards the ground, you're going to be looking at three or three to four, even five degrees hotter. But having your plants up higher off the ground uh, really cools them down a lot. And another factor is that it also provides shade, midday sh shade, because the sun is at its highest during midsummer, so that means that um, the higher up your plants go, the more shade they get. Let me, let me show you here. Let me just swing this around. You can see here. It's like baker's shelves, stainless steel. And these cacti up on here. Of course, you can't put all your cacti up on there, and you've got to utilize other shelving, which is down here. And tip number two, the, a lot of the cacti push back into the back of the shelf, where it's the shadiest. And you can see here too. Tip number two, eaves of the house which provides some shade for your plants. Utilize the eaves of your house. Build, build lean-tos. Now lean-tos are just uh, made it structured out of timber. 4B2s and 4B1s. And you make a makeshift lean-to, which comes off from the, just under the eaves of the house. And then you put a shade cloth on it and you put your shelving there because under the eaves provides some shade from the hot sun which is melting me right now <laughs> okay don't mind the sweat but uh, I'm starting to melt anyway tip number three or four up to tip number four now shade cloth now this is 30 percent shade cloth over here got some more because the sun's coming in on an angle and hitting these plants. The thing is with this shade cloth is that, well, it's about 30% and it's kind of nylon. I've hooked it up around the gutter up here, going down to the bottom of the balcony, like so. I just tied rope going around the gutter and then I suspend my shade cloth down. Also if you have 
your plants growing in um, arid situations in the US where you got low low humidity and you got temperatures that are well over 105 110 Fahrenheit then you probably want to have shade cloth that's kind of like this which is 50% like so it's gonna help a lot okay tip number six I think I lost track um, this one is about watering if you are in about the 30s 35 degrees and your temperatures dip down to about 28 or 25 degrees you can still water your cacti as long as it not as long as the next day the pots are not exposed to full sun which means that um, you ought to shade the pot as much as you can because after you water the plant needs some time to absorb the moisture up into its tissues and you want to provide that pot with shade not necessarily the cacti growing in it but the pot itself because here's why once you water it and then the next day comes along um, it can boil your plants kind of like boiling potatoes putting them in a pot with water and steaming them so that's your next tip you can still water as long as the temperatures are about 30 or 35 now if you get up to 40 degrees which is about 105 over 105 over Fahrenheit then you better be careful with watering because the cacti will go into a semi uh, dormant state and the last thing that I f uh, in case I forget to mention is when you do water your cacti make sure you water in the evening just as the sun's going down that's the best time because it gives the cacti a lot of time to actually take up the moisture and of course the very next day because of the temperatures are hot your cacti might seem that they have dried out again don't be fooled into just giving them more water again there will still be a certain amount of moisture in the pot maybe not on the surface because it dries the fastest especially during the hot weather um, down at the bottom of the pot there will be some moisture left and the cacti can utilize that and of course overwatering can be dangerous um, and you can be fooled into trying to water your cacti more thinking well it's dried out and you're kind of putting your finger in the first inch layer of mix there feeling about and thinking needs more water but actually that can be bad for it and you should just water once every one to two weeks is the safest way to go and you won't fail number seven I think is you have some sensitive cacti like rebusia rebusia rebutia well why not put them up higher I don't know if you can see here but um, this shelf right here is as tall as I am and it's up on the wall that's where I keep my rebutia got the shade cloth in the way here it makes it hard to see. Here it is, dear. See that? Very good place to put your heat sensitive cacti like Rebutia or Rebutia. Um, another one would be, um, it could be some species of Libivia because they are very high altitude plants. And you're best to put them up on the wall. And there's two ways you can do that you can put uh, hooks on. You can drill, you can put in the, especially if you have a, a stone wall or a concrete wall, you can actually drill into that and put plugs, those plastic plugs, and then when you put your screw into it, it spreads out. It actually spreads the plug out and attaches the, the, uh, the screw to the wall better. Anyway. I think I've covered everything and um, thanks for watching and I hope you got some good tips there about how to look after your cacti and succulents during the 
summer heat. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. And anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that you help me to get inspired to make more. And I have many more interesting subjects about plants and um, they will be coming up in the near future. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.